I decided to uh, embark on sort of the beginnings of a project about the oil boom that's uh, taking place in North Dakota, the irresistible draw of, of money and uh, improving one's financial situation that has you know drawn tens of thousands of Americans to that region. You know, America, the United States has sort of been in a slow recovery from an economic downturn. And this is one of the few bright spots in the U.S. economy today where you can go and get jobs that pay $20 an hour, um, you know, or, you know, even more. And it was also a chance for me to sort of to reconnect with the country I grew up in, the country that I'm from, which I haven't lived in for eight years. And, you know, I, I consider myself an immigrant in many ways. And so for me, having never worked, you know, having not worked in, this, in the United States since I was in university and never actually started a larger project, I've, I found myself, I felt truly lost, and which was a nice feeling because you sort of start lost and start finding your way. I got there and began sort of just seeing how the oil boom in North Dakota was changing, you know, changing a, a place that has always been considered a sort of frontier in American, in American history. When the homesteaders first came and pushed out the Native Americans, there were farmers that sort of set up outposts, but they didn't, it's not like other parts of the West, which were then, you know, further developed and exploited. You know, North Dakota always stayed sort of remote and stayed very rural and pastoral. And now this oil boom is displacing a lot of those homesteaders and sort of erasing that way of life. And so the place is going through another change. Before I was interested in photography, as a full-time thing, I was interested primarily in history. The moments of history that stand out, um, that are documented are, are transitionary periods. I find that humans, you know, human beings are probably at their most vulnerable and expose their cultures, you know, oftentimes during periods of transition as well. I grew up sort of a typical upper middle class lifestyle, but my mom was a, is a graphic designer and an artist and had her office at home. And when I was younger, her office was open to my brothers and I. And, uh, you know, she had cameras, she had charcoals, she had paints. The camera was sort of just what stuck with my interests. My father's, call him a conservative, wouldn't quite cover it. And my mother is an artist, and while she wasn't as vocal, I think she's secretly infinitely more liberal than my father. There's a lot of interesting political discussions in our household. So I grew up in the middle of this sort of fight trying to find my own voice. And photography was a way to sort of express myself without getting in a big argument. That stuck, and then I applied to university and ended up going to uh, New York University to the Tisch School of the Arts uh, photo program. And I was the class that arrived in August of 2001. When I had first arrived at NYU, I thought I wanted to maybe be a fashion or commercial photographer. And 9-11 um, happened, and you know I, I was out that day. I watched the second plane hit um, Washington Square Park. And it was the first news event I photographed, actually. And that led, that's what initially led me to the Middle East. A lot of people, when I found out that I was accepted to the master class, told me, you're, you're already so established. Like, why would you? And you've got, well, you've got clients, you're on assignment all the time. You know, why, what are you going to get out of the master class? And I, I, I came into this because I'm at a point in my career where I feel like I've been doing orthodox photojournalism while I love that job, you know, and that I love that working in that capacity. I also want to keep growing. And um, coming here has been amazing because virtually everybody else in this class, you know, is completely different to, to who I am. And they're thinking in new ways. They're thinking in, I, it makes me feel like a dinosaur. And it's, it's amazing to be part of something that feels so fresh. Um, and that's what I was looking for in this experience.